All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about Akira from the show, and he's the uh, wise weapons master. He's the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the show. You know, he teaches Jack how to fight and how to handle weapons and, uh, you know, life lessons and that sort of thing. Now, it's like it says right here, it's spelled Ikira, but they always pronounce it Akira. I think they wanted to name this guy Akira, but there's a certain other animated movie that was super duper popular that was named Akira, so they had to go with the I. And this is the packaging. And he starts out as like a, a washed up, homeless dude, down on his luck. And uh, Jack takes him in and cleans him up because he needs a weapon master to train him how to be the world's greatest hero. And he does really well. He does a lot of wise stuff, but he gets plenty of action himself. He has his own vehicle, which we'll go over as well. And um, there's a lot of secret backstory to this guy, which is really cool that I, I don't really want to spoil. But um, he develops over time in the show. And uh, I have an open version, so I'm going to show that off here. So this is Ikira. And... The one thing that I don't like about this is this uh, cover thing. It'll it rides up, and it sits on some pegs on his shoulders, and you have to get him in there just right and smash him down, or it won't stay on, and that's really annoying. Also, he has these blades here that fit into these holes in his leg, and really you want these to be pointed back like this. But you, I kind of have to rotate him forward in order to lay him down because if he's in the correct position, unless you're standing, unless he's standing up, you know, if you you can't store him, you can't lay him down because then he kind of sits up like this, and um, he doesn't store very well unless you take him off. And I'm not a super fan of taking him off. But his uh, legs do bend 90 degrees, and his knees turn 90 degrees, and he does have waist articulation. Now these guys were made by Bandai, which is actually they made uh they make Gundam figures and they're most popularly known for their Power Rangers stuff. So they're no slouches in the toy making department, so these are really solidly well-built characters. So now you can take this off and he, he has this little ponytail as well. You can take this off it's, and you can see the little holes that that little shoulder thing pins into and he has a little bit of detail on his chest and he has this cloak and I can't stand this freaking thing it's really stiff you can't <clears throat> you can't have his swords on you can't have anything else on if you put this on um, and just for this review I'll, I'll, I'll put it I'll try to put it on but he has these really wide like hips like um, Waffen SS pant legs here <clears throat> you put his arms down and this goes on and you uh you, you, you jam his head through and i mean this is what i don't like about this figure is this cloak really just doesn't fit very well and now now he's in his uh homeless vagabond outfit here but this cloak it it's very ill-fitting um i just don't like it and now he's just like he's like grandpa uh in his blanket you know laying on the couch watching television watching football in the cold you know so that's that's going to be really fun to play with in, in an action feature also with this cloak on he can't ride his vehicle he can't fight anybody he's just kind of standing around the uh, the rusty 55 gallon drum, you know, burning some wood to keep warm. But you take it off, and all of a sudden he's like super action ready to go. And uh, that is my figure review for Akira from the Cyber Nine series. Thanks for watching.